what to do with your weaknesses. God knows about your weaknesses. He knows your struggles. He knows the things that make you to easily fall. But there is a solution to dealing with your weaknesses. Every human being on this earth has a weakness, so don't feel bad when you have a weakness. The first step to dealing with your weakness is acknowledging that you have a weakness that needs to be fixed. You are having some of these weaknesses because you will live to tell the story of how you overcame and your testimony will save other people. If you know that your weakness have inestimable value when you overcome it, you will believe these words. Your weakness, when overcome, will be a tool of liberation to many people. Tell your weakness to God first before telling it to any man. You can become great even with your weakness. You are not defined by your weakness. Your weakness doesn't mean you are not saved. The fact that you are not able to do some of the good things you want to do doesn't mean you are a bad person. Today God wants you to look away from your weakness and look unto Him. God is releasing His grace upon you to overcome. The Word of God says, Now that we know that we have Jesus, this great high priest with ready access to God, let's not let it slip through our fingers. We don't have a priest who is out of touch with our reality. He's been through weakness and testing, experienced it all, all but do not sin. So let's walk right up to him and get what he's so ready to give. Take the mercy, accept the help. Hebrews 4 verse 14 to 16. Are you going through some testing and trials now? God says you should walk right up to Jesus and receive mercy and help. Walk boldly to the throne of grace that you may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the times of need. Our Lord Jesus Christ says, Are you tired, worn out, burned out on religion? Come to me, get away with me, and you will recover your life. I will show you how to take a real rest. Walk with me and work with me. Watch how I do it. Learn the unforced rhythms of grace. I won't lay anything heavy or ill-fitting on you. Keep company with me and you will learn to live freely and lightly. Jesus will recover your life. He will help show how to take real rest from your weakness. When you walk with Jesus, your weakness will begin to fade. When you fix your eyes on your weakness, you will become weaker. But when you fix your eyes on the Lord, you will become stronger. Many people make the mistake of relating with people who are having the same weakness for sympathy's sake. But if you want to overcome your weakness, you need to relate with people who have overcome what you are struggling with. We give our weakness to Jesus because Jesus overcame his weakness and he didn't sin. You don't have to suffer in silence. Share your weakness with someone who has overcome and you will be held. Sometimes you are experiencing these weaknesses because you will be used as an ambassador to help people come out of that weakness also. You feel you can no longer do it. But God comes and says, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Apostle Paul experienced weakness in his life and he immediately turned to God. And he says, because of the extravagance of those revelations, and so I wouldn't get a big head, I was given the gift of a handicap to keep me in constant touch with my limitations. Satan's angel did his best to get me down. What he in fact did was put me to my knees. No danger then of walking around high and mighty. At first, I didn't think of it as a gift and begged God to remove it. Three times I did that. And then he told me, my grace is enough. It's all you need. My strength comes in its own in your weakness. Once I heard that, I was glad to let it happen. 
I quit focusing on the handicap and began appreciating the gift. It was a case of Christ's strength moving in on my weakness. Now I take limitations in stride and with good cheer. These limitations that cut me down to size, abuse, accidents, opposition, bad breaks, I just let Christ take over. And so, the weaker I get, the stronger I become. God's strength will come to your weakness in the name of Jesus Christ. God's grace is sufficient for you. Let Christ take over your weakness. The weaker you get, the stronger you will become. I pray for you that God's strength be made perfect in your weakness. You can overcome some of this weakness when you yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit brings liberation. When you live in the flesh, you can be controlled by your weakness. But if you live in the spirit, your weakness will be under control. Every weakness you have was laid on our Lord Jesus Christ. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youth will become weak and tired, and young men will fall in exhaustion. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. If you put your trust in the Lord, you will find new strength every day. Today, let Christ take over your weakness and give you strength. The Spirit helps us in our weakness. May the Holy Spirit help your weakness in Jesus' name. Let the weak say, I am strong in the strength of the Lord. They go from strength to strength, every one of them in Zion appearing before God. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Behold, O God, our shield, and look upon the face of thy anointed. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will be withheld from them that walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the man that trusts in thee. God's grace is sufficient for you. Let Christ take over your weakness. The weaker you get, the stronger you will become. I pray for you that God's strength be made perfect in your weakness. You can overcome some of this weakness when you yield yourself to the Holy Spirit. May you overcome all your weakness in Jesus' name. Your weakness will not overcome you, but you will overcome them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.